everyone, welcome to Mahalo Daily. I'm Veronica Belmont, and in the long tradition of doing things that could potentially injure or maim me, today we're gonna do indoor rock climbing. And to show us how is Kevin Rose, founder of dig.com and uh, Dig Nation and Pounce. All kinds of stuff. All and rock climber. Stuff. And rock climber too, awesome. who knew, right? So what are some of the basics? What do we need to have before we get started? Well, we should talk about our gear first of all, because uh, you can't, although I am wearing jeans today, they're loose jeans, you should probably wear something very comfortable that you can move around comfy. in. You got some nice pants on there. And then of course, they're a very tight fitting shoe. They want it to be really snug and a good fit so that when you're on the rock, you can actually feel the rock with your toes. You should be as mm -hmm. close to the rock as possible so you can hold your entire body weight off of just a little tiny tip. After that, you need a, a chalk bag. This is like gym chalk that you would get. Um, and it just dries out your hands. So you basically just rub it. When kind of like a good. gymnast. Right, exactly. Well, we can take a look and give it a shot. Sounds good, let's do it. All right. So V0, so this is a relatively easy one, right? Right, so basically what you have here is the rating system that they use in bouldering. Now, the top roping is a little bit different. Uh, V0 is gonna be your easiest climb that they have here at the gym. They go from Z V0 all the way up to V13. So we go V1, V2, V3. What's the highest you can do? Uh, I'm gonna put right you on the now, spot here. I'd say that I've ever done is a V5. V5. And, and that's after climbing for years and years and years. Now you're following all yellow. So these are all your feet here, mm -hmm. all the way down. But when you start, you always start with that U, put your hands here, and then get your feet on the wall. All right, well, I think I should give it a shot. Like this. There you go. Nice. You want to try and climb with your feet, so like pushing up with your feet, not really using your arms. Cliffhanger! <laughs> Alright, that wasn't too, too bad. Not bad, huh? Why don't you show me one a little more complicated? Alright, let's try and find one. Alright, so under here we've got uh, a bunch of other climbs. Oh, jeez. Now this gets pretty tricky because it's it's an overhang, so you have to be holding your entire body weight upside down. To get out from underneath this is the hard part. That was a difficult one. And then try and swing up for that yellow one. Well, and then if this was the real world, you'd be I'd fall falling to, my death. to your death. Thanks for starting me out on a hard one. Hey, go big or go home, right? That's right. Basically, these are just wooden planks going up a piece of plywood. You really have to get your fingers in here, lock them off, and then climb up one after another, with the goal being to eventually make it all the way to the top. Feet on the wall. I think I can already feel my fingers not being strong enough to do this on, after a back. few climbs. There you go. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> so Man. as you can see, this is like something that. Um, you do it. So a hanging grab and then up, 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 up. Show off. And then hopefully, if you can do it, you hang your entire body, and then you go up, 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 all the way to the top. I didn't have your back. I'm sorry. Yes, I noticed that. I'm sorry about that. That's I kind okay. of vacated the area. It's all right. Not only do we have the entire climbing gym, but we also have a little workout gym. Uh, as well. You could just put your fingers in like these pockets here. So start off with three fingers and then just hold yourself with your feet off the ground. Okay. And then once you, if that feels comfortable to you, take those three fingers and then just do one pull up from the three fingers. There you go. Legs are up. Nice. Yay. Can I pull up? I don't think so. <laughs> if you just want to do huge pull ups, these are some big holds. Crank one out. Go, go, go. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Ow, and I have a cramp in my foot now. <laughs> God, I'm so weak. Okay, it looks a little bit like a medieval torture device. Yes. But... Put your hands up there, knees down. See how that works? Oh, yeah, that's you much like better. That? That's. Oh. There, I just beat my all-time uh, my, my all best pull-up record right there. Nice. <laughs> not that that probably counts. Uh, so you're not selling your services as a personal trainer anytime no, soon? I think i got to get back to work, actually. I did. All right. Well, Kevin, thank you so much for showing us around the gym today. I think I'm going to go try some all on my own and see if I can, if I can do it. Sweet. I'm Veronica Belmont from Mahalo Daily. I'll see you next time. I've had mine a little too long one time. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it bent back the nail and then the entire thing turned bloody and then oh. just, yeah. oh.